Good morning, welcome to math today. Let's start out by counting all the way up to 10 and then all the way back down. One, actually let's do our fingers the math way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! This 10 frame and let's count while we put our dots on. I want you to hold up your fingers at home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you wiggle those ten fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Now let's play takeaway fingers. I need you to show me three fingers the math way. One, two, three. Now take away one finger. How many are left? One, two. Three minus one equals two. Now take away one finger. Boop. Two minus one equals one. Now take away one finger. One minus one equals zero. Oh, stretch them out, stretch them out, stretch them out. Now let's do five. Five minus one equals one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's do, ooh, this one's gonna be tricky. Three minus two. That equals one. Oh, I couldn't trick you at all, could I? Okay, let's do four minus two. Four minus one, two equals two. All right, last one, last one, last one. Five minus two equals one two, three. Wow, you guys are so... Okay, for this next activity, you're gonna need your notebook and a pencil, but I'm gonna use a pen because I want you to be able to see it really well on my camera, and pencils don't always show up really well. So I'm gonna tell you a story while you draw. You can also use a whiteboard if you have a whiteboard. Noah had seven red balloons. Now, it's math, so I know the story says red, but it's okay to draw it in blue. That's not a big deal. We can use our imaginations. We're very imaginative kids. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. You know, the way I drew this, it almost looks like these balloons could fit inside a 10 frame, don't they? Now, Noah had these seven balloons and two of them popped when his kitties played with them. How can I show two balloons popping? Hmm, maybe I could 
Go like this. Pop. So seven and two popped. How could we make a number sentence about this? Let's see. Hmm, let me turn it around because I don't want to accidentally write backwards. Seven was our whole number minus two equals, how many are left? One, two, three, four, five. I wrote backwards anyway, but that's no big deal. I can just cross it out and write it again. Sometimes we write our numbers backwards and it's no big deal. It's part of learning about numbers. So if I wanted to make this into a number bond, maybe today I'll put my hole on this side, one part over here and one part over here. So which one was our hole? Seven all together. Two balloons popped and five were left over. Does your number bond look like this? Or did you draw your hole at the top or the other side? There's so many ways to write your number bonds and they're all right. You keep your notebooks out, but I'm gonna show you my Unifix cubes. So let's make a stick of Unifix cubes. Help me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven cubes and we're gonna break two off the end of the stick. How many cubes are still left in your hand? Well, on my screen, one, two, three, four, five. It's just like Noah's story, but without the cats or balloons. So I want you to draw these cubes and cross off the ones that I hid. Now I'll make a number bond about what we just did. You have two cubes that are hiding and five cubes that are left. How many all together? Part, part, two, five, Whole. Seven. Now can you write a number sentence about this? Let's see, we have our whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we broke off two. Seven minus two equals one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's build a new cube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's stop at eight. But if I were going to continue, what would come next in my pattern? I did, let's call this magenta. White, white, magenta. White, white, magenta. White. That's right, white would come next in our pattern, but we're stopping here. We only have eight. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take away three. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Eight take away three is five. So what 
are we going to do? If we turn it into a number bond, what is our whole and what are our parts? Well, our two parts are right here, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, and our whole is eight. That's right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we write it as a number sentence, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, I'm having trouble disconnecting my cubes. Let's do it like this. Eight minus three equals one, two, three, four, five. All right, last but not least, we're going to do one more cube problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten minus four. So ten cubed, let's take away one, two, three, four. Ten take away four is one, two, three, four, five, six. How many of you could subitize that just by looking? Ten minus four equals six. Well, that's already our math problem. We already wrote our math sentence. And if we want to turn it into a number bond, here are our parts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a part, and one, two, three, four. That's a part, and our whole is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goodbye, cubes. I hope you had so much fun doing your math today. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.